Hi. Okay. So this recipe is Alfredo sauce angel hair pasta with meatballs. As you can see, I have a pound of ground meat with one egg, two cloves of garlic. The spices include a teaspoon of basil leaves, Italian seasoning, oregano leaves, onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper, and three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And I'm just going to add them all to the meat. I have the angel hair pasta in the boiling water cooking right now. And I'm going to turn turn on the stove. Medium, medium high heat. The only other ingredient I might add would be, uh, let's see. Italian flavored breadcrumbs, but right now I'm just going to use these ingredients here. I'm going to pour in like a tablespoon of water. And in my frying pan I have a tablespoon of olive oil and it's heating up. I don't want to over mix the meat mixture with the spices or it'll get, uh, uh, I would say gummy. So that's just enough. Now you can use a ice cream scooper to make your meatballs or you can just reach in. And grab a little bit of ground meat mixture, form it into a ball shape. You can also use a melon ball uh, device if you want small meatballs. It also works. And the other, only other ingredient I did add to the ground meat mixture spices is a teaspoon of table sugar. If you're diabetic, leave that stuff out. Now with the Alfredo sauce, you can either make your homemade mixture, or I personally prefer Bertoli Alfredo sauce. Uh, their flavor is amazing. Same way with their marinara sauce. I I don't think I can honestly compete with a homemade recipe for the marinara sauce. And here's the meatballs. They're cooking. Okay. 
I'm just going to turn them over when they're lightly browned. And I'll do that for all the meatballs. I do not want them fully cooked in the frying pan while I'm browning them. I just want them lightly browned. And I turn up the heat to medium high for the browning. My angel hair pasta is cooked and ready to be drained. I'll do that now. I did add a tablespoon of salt to the water before adding the pasta to it. Lightly browned, I'll just turn them over. And the next step, I will actually add the Alfredo sauce and about a half a cup of water. And I'll let this cook on uh, low to medium heat for about 15 minutes. There's the Bertinelli Alfredo sauce. I do leave the olive oil in the frying pan only because we're going to use the tablespoon of it. If I use more oil, I would probably degrease it. And there's a half a cup of water. I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning to this. And then I'll let this cook for about 15 minutes. 